Hi, I'm Bob with Quilters Headquarters, and I'm here today to show you the FAF Ambition 2.0. Here on the, the FAF Ambition 2.0 and on, on our FAF equipment, one of the things that we have that's unique is our IDT foot. And as you can see, we can turn the IDT foot on and off. One of the big differences is, is this is not a walking foot because all a walking foot will do is just press down on the fabric. This actually is timed with the bottom feed dogs for it equally pulls the top and the bottom where you have no slippage and you can do um, your, your quilting and get perfect points without having to worry about doing a lot of pinning. And I will show you how it works. I will take it off here and then I am going to use this fabric here which stretches and it's difficult to sew on a lot of sewing machines. This is without the IDT system on and as you can see how difficult it is to sew it with without getting these rippling effects. Now I'm going to turn on the IDT and we're going to go on the other side here. And then this shows you the, the difference here. As you can see this is nice and straight and flat I still have the same width and that's why my points are going to match without pinning where here you can see I had that slippage and that's what makes the difference on the IDT system versus your your conventional sewing machines and then it handles heavy denim so I will show you how the um, it can handle heavy denim sewing this is preferred uh, line for garment sewers, by the way. And then I'm just going to turn this over and create this seam. see how nice and straight it pulls everything through this is where it's difficult for a lot of machines is to be able to go from thin to thick and as you can see my seam did not change in variation whatsoever when I went from thin to very very thick and as you can see it didn't hesitate with the machine some machines you have to have a hump jumper to be able to go over something like that. The other features is this has a um, motor control speed right here which I really like. This is uh, excellent for free motion quilting so you don't have to worry about the position of your foot pedal that you can um, um, just put the pedal of the metal and get this at the right speed and you can concentrate on your, your, your free motion quilting. And because this is the, the quilting ambition model for quilting, they also include with it the uh, free motion quilting foot and they also include with it the quarter inch quilting foot. And so that's what's nice about that. And then the other feature that is um, uh, n nice about this is you have the needle down feature. So whenever you, you stop, the needle stays down. And then that way there, if I'm doing applique or anything along like that, it makes it very nice to, to be able to do that. Or binding on the quilting when you're going around the corners and stuff, you keep your position. And again, another desirable feature to have. You also have another nice feature where you can run this entire machine hands-free with the always run button. 
and you can control your motor speed and so I don't even have to worry about it. And I can turn it off by pushing the button or just touching my foot pedal. And so that's a nice feature to have that. Another feature that you have with this with this machine is you have a one touch stay stitch button. So I just hit that and it does the stay stitch and then I can sew and then I can just hit that again and I can do my stay stitch. Another feature that you can you can do um, with on the stay stitches is I can this is a touch screen so I can simply touch there and I can tell it to automatically do stay stitch at the beginning and automatically do a stay stitch at the end or I can do vice versa or mix it up or don't have it at all and just do it manually myself to change stitches is very easy I can push this thing right here and I can just look up on the screen here where all of my stitches are at and I can just poke in whatever stitch I want to do and hit the check mark and then that stitches in and then also um, I can adjust my stitches all of my stitches up to seven millimeters uh, on this machine here and I can go width and um, length stitches and so it's all adjustable if I lose track of where I'm at all I gotta do is keep turning it till it turns uh, clear and it don't have a black background anymore and I am back to default and so that's that's how the, st the stitches work and you have all the major stitches you need and you have the blanket stitches you have decorative stitches you even have hand quilting stitches where if you put an invisible uh, thread in the bobbin it will look like it, that you actually hand quilted that machine you also have alphabets and numbers and symbols that you can put in and make your make your own uh, uh, quilt quilt patch with that also too with your decorative stitches you also can mirror them you can flip them side to side or you can flip them um, up and down and so you have that and then in here you have um, over seven inches it's 200 millimeters it's about a, a eighth of an inch less than eight inches from the needle to the back so it gives you lots of room here to be able to to do do your work I can do a zigzag stitch up to seven millimeters and it's and everything is all controlled here I can also look at my directory and I can also find the stitches that I want to do um, on this machine I can even do a um, um, a um, overlock stitch adjust my speed and as you see nice and straight this go I just barely put any pressure on the fabric and it goes nice and straight and then I can do an overlock stitch similar to a serger this is the quilt ambition 2.0 pretty much uh, what it is in a nutshell and um, come on in to quilters headquarters and give us a visit and we'll show you the Quilt Ambition 2.0.